Our learning intention for today is, how can I work collaboratively with others? Although this is a math lesson, we're going to focus on that skill. I want you to turn and talk and think of one or two great ideas of how you can work collaboratively with others. Off you go. Other ideas around your idea, or that you can make like a compromise. Yeah, great conversations there, so let's just see what people have come up with. So right. basically let everyone talk and not only the boss, because if you only let the boss talk, like then you only get the boss's idea and not everyone's. I thought that it's sort of similar to this idea, but maybe we should all pay attention to each other. So through this lesson we're going to be gathering information bit by bit. So you're going to work on gathering that information. And then the second one is I can encourage others to participate. You might remember when we did book clubs and you have a quiet participant. You want to actively try to engage everybody in the discussion. We're going to write down a guess after you watch this short video about how many playing cards this man drops. So one reason was that because uh, the amount of cards he dropped seemed like a bit more than half of um, 52, which is like the total of deck, um, not counting jokers. And also it was like all the average of hours. Um, yeah, so we thought it was mostly... So we didn't give you much information to solve that little problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to ask you to walk and talk, boy with a girl, girl with a boy, and write down with your partner what information do you need to help you solve that problem. Come up with how many cards we drop. The first thing we need to do is to find out how many cards there were in the first place, because um, if there, if it was not 52 cards, like there usually is, um, even if you find out how many cards um, that didn't drop, you don't know the amount left. 